Hello everyone, this is Matt Miller, your Dean of Online Instruction, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about how you can add extra time, extra attempts, and adding exceptions to various items in Canvas. So in some cases you may have students who, uh, through the Office of, of Accessibility and Disability Services, maybe they have an accommodation where they need extra time on every test. Uh, so everyone gets a certain amount of time, this student needs a little extra time. Or let's say, for example, you have students that maybe, uh, for whatever reason, had a technical issue when taking a test and needs to add another attempt. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that it seems like uh, when we move to Canvas that we have fewer and fewer problems as far as testing is concerned, but occasionally the odd issue comes up where a student does have technical issues and needs an extra attempt to take a test. Now the important thing here is to know that in Canvas you do not, you cannot remove attempts, you simply can add extra attempts and so that's how that works. And then finally maybe you have students who uh, for whatever reason have an excused uh, absence or maybe a, a, a some sort of justification as to why they can't complete an assignment or a test on a particular date, on, a, on the due date that you originally had put for everyone, and maybe they require a few extra days to complete the assignment. You know, maybe a family tragedy or something may have occurred. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, you, it justified them having extra days uh, to complete the assignment or test. So let's uh, dive right in. Let me show you real quick. So you'll notice that I'm in my Canvas course here. And so the first thing I want to show you is how to add extra attempts to a test and add extra times to a test. So to do that, in your course, what you want to do first of all is go down straight to your quizzes area where your tests live. So choose quizzes here. And you'll notice that in my little demo course, I do have one quiz out there. And if I click on it, there. Okay, you'll see that the parameters that I've set for this test. Everyone gets 10 minutes on the test. Uh, you know, there, uh, I believe there's a due date for November 3rd. You know, you can see sort of the parameters there. So in order to make changes to how many attempts the students get and how many, um, uh, how much extra time they get, then in the upper right-hand corner, I must choose moderate this quiz. So choose moderate this quiz. And here you'll notice there's a list of my students here. You can see no one has taken the test left, so, uh, test yet, so there's always one attempt left for all the students that are in the course. And so in order to add extra attempts or to add extra time, then I just need to locate a student here. We'll choose student 101. And notice there's a little pencil icon directly across from that student's name. So I click on it. And here you can see where you can add extra attempts. So it says extra attempts, everyone already gets one. If the student needed a one extra attempt, I could put one there and that would give them two. Uh, in the same, uh, same token, if I notice that everyone already gets 10 minutes and the student needs extra time, uh, what you do is you add simply the number of extra time minutes that they get. You don't add, you know, say for example, instead of 10 minutes, they're gonna get 15 minutes. You would only put a five here uh, which means they get five extra minutes, extra time on every attempt is five minutes. So you do that. So be careful about, you know, not saying 15, then they would get 25 minutes as opposed to, to uh, 15 minutes there. So just keep that in mind. Also notice too that you can make it to where students will not be able to take an extra attempt or extra time until they, uh, until you manually unlock the quiz for them. If you're cool with them going ahead and, and taking any extra attempts that they may have, or taking extra time on the test, then you just leave that little checkbox blank, okay? So that's how you add extra attempts, that's how you add extra times, click save, and then you'll notice down here that uh, in your notation under moderate this quiz, that student 101 gets five extra minutes on each attempt and also uh, has two attempts as opposed to the one that everyone else has. Now keep in mind that you do also need to make sure that you add these uh, to every single test that you have. So that is kind of the tedious part. So if you have a lot of tests and quizzes uh, in your course and you have a student that has that accommodation, then you must go into every one of them and then go to moderate each one of those uh, quizzes and then going over and clicking that pencil icon and adding the extra time or extra attempt, however it is there. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now let's talk about adding exceptions to a particular test or a quiz. And exceptions, by that I mean adding extra days in which to complete the date, the test, or whatever beyond the due date. Now adding an exception actually works for anything where a due date can be assigned, such as assignments, discussion items, and quizzes. All right. So uh, if I just go back to quizzes here, and we'll just use this same quiz as an example, 
When I click on this quiz and go to edit, you'll notice that this is where I can set the due date. If I scroll down just a little bit, I can set the due date uh, and availability date for this particular quiz for everyone in the class. Okay. Now it is important to note that when I do make an exception, I do not want to get rid of this, whatever the original due date is. Otherwise, students will not see their, <laughs> everyone else in the class will not be able to see their grades in the gradebook any longer. And this comes up from time to time. So you're always just going to add to. You're never going to take away from here. Okay, so that's important to remember. So let's say everyone in the class is at uh, the due date is November 3rd at 1159 p.m. And let's say a student came to me with, a, you know, a justifiable reason why they should have uh, some time beyond November 3rd at midnight to be able to complete the test. So to add the exception for the student, I just simply go down here below where the assigned due date is for everyone else, and I choose the Add button there. Notice that it brings up a box here now down at the bottom, everyone, and then notice that I can assign, and I can click on it and choose whatever student or students. Let's just say there's two students in the class. Maybe both of them are student 101 and 104. Maybe they're, you know, somehow involved in whatever the same situation is to add extra, ten, or extra time uh, or extra days to complete this assignment. And then I simply just assign a due date for them. So everyone else is the third. Maybe I'll give them until Wednesday the 7th. And then notice I can put a time a.m. or p.m. here and then there. So everyone else now, the test is due on the dirt third. On these two students, it's due on the seventh. Okay. And so in doing that, I click save. And the nice thing about that is, is that those two students, when they look at their calendar, they will see simply that that test is due on the seventh, no longer on the third. Everyone else in the class will still see that it's due on the third. Uh, and so, and you can see both actually when you go to the calendar as well. Uh, so uh, that is very much, in a nutshell, how you can add extra attempts, extra time to quizzes, as well as adding exceptions to assignments, discussions, and quizzes. Anywhere there's a due date, you can add uh, ex extra days uh, for specific students if you need to. So anyway, I hope that helps you. Uh, if you do have any questions, of course, please don't uh, hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, and also be sure and subscribe to, to this channel so you can see this and other videos like it. So I hope everyone has a great day, and, ha and, and thanks a lot. I appreciate your time.